First up, communication. This has been a major issue defensively, particularly in the secondary. Multiple times during Saturday's game, the Huskies let opposing receivers run free, leading to chunk plays each time. The final touchdown on the day highlighted that lack of communication, as shown here between true freshman Ian Swenson and sophomore Marche Terry. The play went for 73 yards, but it wasn't the only instance to this occurred throughout the game. More on this later. Next up, taking points when they show themselves. The staff started chasing early, and given how the Huskies had just one punt in the day, a few stops and the game would have been within reach. Three extra points and at least two short range field goals were passed up, which would have added two additional scores on the day. While it would have only cut the score to 38 to 27, in a two possession game, anything is possible. While hindsight is 2020, I'd like to see the coaches play the game out the full 60 minutes in a similar situation in the future. Finally, there's third and fourth downs defensively and overall pass defense. Getting off the field has been another major issue, and a large part of that can be attributed to the lack of communication I mentioned, but there's more to it. The Huskies are not generating negative plays in the backfield, evidenced by the fact that only Purdue has less tackles for loss per game than UConn's three. It's keeping opponents on schedule throughout drives and making the majority of those third downs quite manageable. 12 times the Cavaliers faced a third down situation on Saturday, and they converted on either that third or fourth down nine times, including on this third and 18 for the Wahoos' lone score in the third quarter that made it 31 to nothing. It was another true freshman on this play as Omar Fort lost his one-on-one -on -one battle and watched his assignment run right past him. This is a carryover from the opener against Holy Cross. The Huskies are dead last in the nation against the pass, and it's not even close. At 129th in the nation, UConn has surrendered more than 406 yards per game through the air, which is 35 yards more a game than the next worst team. Going forward, UConn will have to defend the pass in order to stay in games, so solving the issue is dire to staying competitive the rest of the season defensively. East Carolina enters as the 34th best passing offense, so any adjustments that are made will be tested on Sunday in the conference opener. Without improvement and quick development, it could be a long year on that side of the ball, specifically in the passing game.